Okay, guys, Modded here again with our premium wax shootout. Um, I want to start right here with these two panels first because I noticed something, and I want to start with that. This is Zymoglasser, and this is Celeste Italio. If you notice, there's a legitimate difference in darkness, which I, I don't know that I've ever actually been able to see that much of a difference between waxes. But like, I can actually pull this up, and you can see the panels where the tape is. You got panel one, two, three. Four and five, and you can actually see that panel is darker than any other panel, which is it really surprised me when I pulled it out here. The lighting isn't the best because the sun's starting to go down, but you got Simulglasser, and you got Celeste Italio, and then you got Zymol Carbon, and then you got Dodo Juice Blue Velvet Pro, and then you got Purple Haze Pro. So here's what they all look like. Obviously, they all look good. I just polished the deck lid. You see the reflection of my house pretty legit but it really surprises me that that's actually darker I mean, you can see it right there here's the tape line you can see it darker on this side than it is on this side which is pretty cool so anyway we'll try to throw some beading and sheeting and wrap this up I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some beading first and then we'll do sheeting okay it's pretty even across the board as far as um water exposure goes Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. Alright, this, that's Zymol Glosser. Very tiny, very tight. This is Celeste Italio. Very tiny, very tight again. Very comparable. And here is, sorry, back it up. This is Zymol Carbon. Still very similar. This is um, Dodo Juice Blue Velvet Pro. Again, very similar. I would say just as good as all the others. And this is the Purple Haze Pro. We're talking extremely, extremely similar results. I'll hit this again in a second to see which one runs off first, but we'll go across again. Simul, Glosser, I'm sorry, Simul Glosser, Celeste, that's Carbon, Blue Velvet Pro, Purple Haze Pro. Okay, one more time to see which one runs off first. I'm trying to hit this as even as possible to see who makes, you know, what size beads. Um, you can see they're starting to run off a little bit. There's Glosser again. Celeste wanting to run off. Notice the Celeste, the beads are extremely tall. I wish I can. I definitely want to take some pictures of this. Very tight. I mean, across the board, all these waxes are premium. We'll go over the prices real quick. Zymol's going to run you $101 a pot. Celeste is going to run you $172 a pot. Um, carbon is retail $49.99 a pot. I got it for like $37. And then these two, the Dodo Juice Pro Waxes, are going to be um, both, I think, $80 a pot. You'll see that Purple Haze ran off a little bit. I think that was just how I hit it with the water. I don't think that's necessarily a difference in... Yeah, see? There you go. You'll actually be able to see a little bit more of how they do. Very, very comparable, I have to say. I would say um, it may seem that the Blue Velvet Pro doesn't run off quite as fast, possibly, but as you can see, it's all very comparable. The thing that just blows me away is how Celeste actually looked darker, and you can see that in the video. But I'll throw down some sheeting real quick, and we'll wrap this up. Let me get my nozzle off here, or adjust my nozzle, rather. I don't know if it's going to work very well because I know these are going to want to sheet, they're going to want to bead. Sorry, having a problem focusing. You see the first three Glosser and then Celeste and Carbon, very comparable, and we'll hit the last two on the end there. It, I mean, they're all very, very close. The biggest difference I saw um, 
was the darkness, the actual look of Celeste, which is what it's... I t- I've talked to Hans from CG, and he said that that's really... Celeste, you know, while... Because it's a wax, it'll obviously protect your paint. It was engineered and developed for a super awesome look, and it's like, um, I believe it's enriched with almond oils. So, I mean, I think you can actually see it right here. Maybe not so much now that it's wet, but it's definitely darker over here, especially in person, than it is over here. You can tell, like, darker here than it is here or here. Um... I'll speak on the ease of application. The Zymol ones, for sure, were the easiest. They were both extremely buttery, easy to remove. Both of them are wipe-on, wipe-off. And then the Celeste and the two Dodo Juices are wipe-on, let them haze, and wipe-off. And um, I would say that the Celeste was probably one of the harder ones to remove, and I think I may have just put it on like slightly thick. But um, Celeste and Blue Velvet Pro both the hardest to remove even though neither one of them were super hard i think it's because both of them were in their paste form they're harder than the other waxes purple haze pro is pretty easy to remove but um it was the hardest out of the softer waxes so anyway i'll do beating one more time so you guys can see now i'll upload this All right, let's see if we can get some focus going on. Again, sorry about the darkness, the lighting, it sucks, I know. But that's uh, Respectable from Glasser. Respectable from Celeste. That's Carbon, very similar to both of those. Here's the Dodo. I would say in this session of beading, I would say that's like maybe slightly less uniform. You can see a few beads, but it's still look ridiculously awesome. And here is uh, Purple Haze. Again, very, very similar beading across the board. But the big surprise is how, how much Celeste really deepened and darkened the black. I was very really impressed by that. So anyway, thanks guys again. And we'll upload this.